I'm a fan of Chris Young, so to get to have a song with him was pretty cool. How blessed am I to get to do a song with someone I've always looked up to as far as a vocalist. I just put it in my truck and played it a million times. It's one of those songs where I was just like, I think we nailed it this day. Like, this one felt right, it felt good. And also, I'm singing on a song with Chris Young. What's up, y'all? I'm Mitchell Tenpenny, and this is the hit story of my song, At the End of a Bar, with Chris Young. The song's about everything that happens at a bar. I have people that I consider great friends that I, I don't know their name. But because we've had great conversations at a bar, I've met my fiance at a bar. I've seen my ex-girlfriends come in at the bar. I met Chris at the end of a bar. The whole song is about all the things that you, in the life and the things that happen, you know, when sometimes we were just sitting there having a beer with somebody. Me and Chris Young have been friends probably about four years now. Right when I signed with Sony Records, Chris kind of took me under his wing. It's pretty cool to, to know that like this guy I looked up to has become one of my best friends. Me and Chris Young were riding that day. We're right out of COVID and also it just snowed in Nashville. And when it snows in Nashville, the world shuts down here. Like no one does anything. So I called him, I was like, bud, can we please write? Can we not cancel this? Like, I'll do anything. He goes, buddy, I got four wheel drive. We're all good, let's do it. So we went out there and we just sat down and caught up because we hadn't seen each other in a while. And our co-writer, Chris Stefano, an amazing producer, Chris Young was telling Chris Stefano, he said, man, you should have seen before the quarantine. Me and Mitchell, we were, at the, we were at the end of a bar just tearing it up. And I was like, that sounds like something we should write today. That at the end of a bar sounds like a hook. And we started this da 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 da, this, this riff. And we just kind of, the song wrote itself. Everything was done that day as a demo. And then I selfishly wanted Chris Young to sing this song. I've always been a fan of Chris. I love his voice. But after it, he goes, Mitchell, get in there and sing the vocal. I'm like, dang. So I've got to sing the demo vocal. I really wanted Chris to. Two days later, he calls and says, hey man, we, I've been playing kind of like with your vocal on the verse and mine on this one. Do you, like, do you care if it's kind of a duet thing? I was like, no, of course. Yeah, it'd be really cool to have a song singing with you. And then a week later, he calls and said, hey man, I think this might be my next single to country radio. I'm so glad that we showed up that day because now we get to uh, celebrate this forever. Uh, we have a number one song together. And uh, thanks, Chris. Thank God for your four wheel drive. At the end of a bar, the recording is what we did that day. The demo is the final recording. Chris Stefano is a genius. I like the start of the song. I mean, you can find your future or run into your past. The weight of that lyric is like, what an all-encompassing thing of life. Like, you can literally, at the end of a bar, you can meet the person you're gonna spend the rest of your life with, and then the other person can be sitting there that you've already spent life with. Making a best friend and not knowing their name is, we just, we've had great conversations, we just never had to ask each other's names. Kind of sets the whole tone for the song. You can find your future, run to your past. You can look for answers, at the bottom of a glass You can make a best friend Never know the name Music video is one of the craziest moments of my life. Fourth of July, uh, downtown, Brad Paisley, I believe, played it, and Chris and has the same management, and they asked Brad to leave that stage, if they could, we could use that stage for the music video. All I was told is we're gonna go play on Broadway and, and shoot the video. And so we, there's the buses are back behind it. I get there, I'm talking to Chris. There's like 150 people out there when I get there. We're sitting on the bus and you know maybe two hours go by and it's time to go shoot. And so we get out there and me and Chris walk outside and we walk up the stage and it is packed all the way down to Bridgestone Arena. And I remember looking at him being like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> like this is insane. But it was so cool like, seeing people show up for that. It was one of the most uh, incredible moments of my life, something I'll never forget. It was truly special. I love this song live. It's, it's got this sway motion type of beat and groove that I don't have in my set. It's like a million things and you. Like, it's a fun, different style of song that I don't have, so I love playing it because it makes people move and groove this way. And obviously, anytime people sing back a song, it's always special. Having a hit song with a friend, it's everything. It's so much better to write songs with your buddies, to celebrate with your buddies, and to have one with Chris is, is awesome. We get to stand on stage together and, 
and accept the number one, knowing you know, the relationship we have, the conversations we have, what we went through with this song. So we get to, you know, celebrate that together and forever. That's something that we're gonna talk about for the rest of our lives.